The majority of the world will receive the ID hatchback first. Build as a golf size F, the ID promises electric motors that deliver less than 200 horsepower and a battery that permits a range between 249 and 373 miles. Although no specifics are set in stone just yet, it will ride on VW's MEB platform, which will be used to underpin other electric models, as well. Speaking of other EVs, the US will get a different ID car first, the ID Cross, which is basically the ID but in crossover form. With two axles worth of electric motors, the ID Cross's output is estimated at 300 HP and range is estimated at about 310 miles. Both the ID and ID Cross also promise semi-autonomous or autonomous driving features, but VW hasn't been firm on any of those details yet, either. Why does the US get something different? The answer is pretty simple, we don't buy hatchbacks, but we do buy crossovers, and a whole lot of them to boot. While both the ID and ID Cross seem set for a 2020 release date, the real gem of the lineup won't arrive for another year or two after that. The ID Buzz, which is basically a reimagined microbus with an electric powertrain, should arrive in time for the 2022 model year, sporting a look that's equal parts future and vintage. If there's one ever I hear people talking about more than any other, it's this one. Volkswagen is planning to launch a range of electric cars beginning around 2020, and it's previewing that brave new electric world with a series of concept vehicles. First came the Volkswagen ID hatchback concept, then the ID Buzz, a tribute to the classic VW microbus. Volkswagen expanded the family with a swoopy crossover earlier this year the Cross, and the concept made its North American debut at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Now, we've learned that Volkswagen's ID line will be entering production in November 2019. First shown in April at the 2017 Shanghai Auto Show, and updated for the Frankfurt Show in September. The Volkswagen ID Cross is an electric crossover that will satisfy the seemingly insatiable demand for these vehicles when it goes on sale. It's not just a design study the Wolfsburg, Germany-based brand has announced that we'll see the production model on American roads in 2020. That announcement has been bolstered by recent reports noting that VW will begin producing the Cross in the US in just about 18 months. The goal is for the company to hit 1 million annual EV sales by 2025. Like the other ID concepts, the oddly named Cross is based on Volkswagen's MEB platform for compact electric cars. VW says the styling makes this latest concept an SUV and a four-door coupe in one. That means the Cross gets a sloping roofline that buyers will likely equate with sportiness. But that really just ruins practicality and makes the vehicle look like it's been squashed by a heavy object landing on its roof. Nevertheless, the look is increasingly popular, as evidenced by the numerous brands adopting it. Despite the squashed roof and compact proportions, Volkswagen says the Cross has the same interior space as the 2018 Tiguan crossover. That's owing to the MEB platform's relatively long wheelbase, and the packaging efficiencies of an electric powertrain. With a battery pack under the floor and no bulky internal combustion powertrain, designers have more flexibility. Volkswagen plans to start production of its ID family of electric cars in 2020. The lineup will also include the ID hatchback, which will replace the e-Golf when it kicks off the offensive, and the retro-inspired ID Buzz, which will arrive in 2022. VW will begin production of the ID hatchback in November as well. But not in the US the ID Buzz all electric microbus should also be going into production soon given that it's slated for delivery in 2022.